Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more Sword of the Stars, A Murder of Crows. The last time we were making planets for the Morgai and the Tarkas. And so we're going to continue on. Let's see, we built a trade station here. Uh, let's go ahead and send you over there. And let's see, finished mining. Oh boy. Now I forgot uh, where I was going to send these. I'm going to send... No, no, no. I need to... Well, I still need to give some resources to both uh, this planet. This is for my... Oh, is this for my Tarkas? I think so. And then this is for my... Right, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is for my tar my Hivers, good lord. And then this is... Then I had another planet picked out for the Morgai. But I don't remember where it was. Was it over here? What did the uh, Morgai need? I forget. <laughs> I forgot which planet uh, I was going to give the Morgai. Or was it this planet? Ooh, I'm forgetful. I'm very forgetful. Uh, Morgai's need. Let's see. You want a climate hazard of... Why don't you tell me? 201.98. Let's see. I think most of these have, like... Can I not click on the here? Ooh, I could do that planet. I thought I had another planet selected for them. Or am I just delusional? Probably everyone is yelling in the comments right now uh, what planet I had selected. But I seriously forgot right now. Can't remember what I was planning on doing. Was it down here? No, it wasn't. I mean, technically, yeah, I could. Was it here? Yep, okay, here it is. Okay, so that's the planet I need to... Uh, for the more guy. So eventually we'll go over there and we'll drop off resources. Just so they can get going. And let's see. We have taken control of Gallifrey. Fantastic. Yes, and. and oh. I just turned down my own volume. I don't even know how I did that. Um, I came home today and after I got off work, and it was 62 degrees inside my house. I was like, oh, my word, it is so cold. It's not the worst I've been in. I remember. Uh, couple apartments ago uh our apartment was uh i think it was below 50 most of the winter and the reason why it was because the heater and this was a townhome and the heater was horrible it was just downright horrible uh i think we ran it one week just one week because we had guests and it was I think I like a two hundred dollar bill just for running it consistently for one week, and even running it, it was still cold. Like it would not heat up this apartment, and we were miserable. I remember having to wear my heavy jacket, like no, not jacket, heavy coat, uh, and it was terrible. I hated it, and I lived in the basement too, so I got the worst part of it being down where all the cold air sinks. It was just miserable. I would, I, I, if, if I could, I would give those guys a piece of my mind. But eh, that's been about three years now, so I guess it's, it's, it's. it's I'm just glad I'm in a better apartment. Oh, I will say that at least. I'm very, very grateful for the fact that I live in an apartment that actually can maintain the temperature while um, running our gas heat and don't have to, have to worry about paying that much queen. still a lot better all right so won the battle here good job guys yeah, i'm so proud of you and see they they are just losing worlds left and right so i don't know how this is gonna end this is another uh world that has become independent it's, oh that's awesome I love it. Uh, let's see. Let's send you up here. Uh, we need 
to send. Doo, 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 doo. Can't send anyone out there. You could possibly send someone out here. We rise as one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what I could actually do is build another fleet to go and colonize, or go and uh, attack. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, let's send you, you command, down there. Majesty. Do you have... Yes, you do. Okay, we'll send someone down there. Go explore that world. It's probably a uninhabitable planet like this one with no resources because they have been mining. Um, I need to see if I can check out, see if we have any colonizers available. We have at Karg. What were we building here? Freighters. We will send you we down here. Now. Go colonize that planet. As soon as this planet's ready, we'll go col colonize Gallifrey. And... I mean, we have enough gate capacity that I could actually send someone else out. Like you guys. We will follow this we'll go course, jump over there. Majesty. And I'm trying to think. Probably, yeah. Whoa. Should I? I mean, it'd be nice to have additional fleet ready. Uh, let's see. Queen's Ire. We'll build three of those. Two of these. And a couple of those. And then, let's see. We need to build Repair Salvage. We will build... Oh, we'll build 12. Sounds good. I probably am building way too many, but it it's nice having that additional repair. So my ships are still fairly high on health when we're doing extended battles and there we'll build four and i think we're good all right cool and that's gonna take how many turns three turns jesus i love this world i love how much uh industrial output they can produce that is glorious all right we're good let's go ahead and turn and see what awaits us in the next battle I know there's a few battles that we will be doing. We'll probably have a few more, especially if our fleets arrive on target properly. We'll see how that goes about. Ooh. Okay, we will do that one. We will do this one. Uh, which one's this one? We will do this one. And I'm pretty certain the AI can handle that. Yeah. All right, got a few battles. So I will see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, we are in. And I'm kind of curious why this world is uh, not fully set for the climate. Because usually their planets are like a dark, rich blue. But here it's more of a lighter, pale blue. So I wonder why becoming an independent colony that it throws. Oops. Must have, oops. Must have accidentally clicked. Um, my assumption is their revolution uh, really destroyed their climate. So they're having to re terraform their world. That would be my guess. Uh, can try to take out their. Um, Colony, but honestly, I think the other enemy leader uh, will probably do that job for us. But I don't know. I don't even see where they are. No, or at least yeah, they are here. But I don't see them on radar. We are getting hit by their satellites rather a bit annoying. Rather not take the damage. But this this colony is uh, finished. So where are they? I don't see them. Alright. Move that way. I don't see them attacking the planet. Planet's fully destroyed. Very nice. We'll get moving. Hopefully a little bit out of the way. Uh, let's see. 
Don't I have a barrage? No, I don't. I'd rather not bring out my repair salvage. Uh, or my gate ship to go sp uh, sp essentially spot for me. I don't know where this enemy fleet is. I mean, this poor, poor Dreadnought here actually took a considerable amount of beating. Um, facing off against the satellites. I don't see them. Normally they would spawn either on the right or left hand side. And I'd rather not separate my dreadnoughts. I don't see them. There they are. They're over there. Okay. I know where they are. They're back over here. You know, I can tell. I can see these little dots actually firing at someone else. So, we're going to go ahead and turn around. But I think the battle's almost over with, which is unfortunate. I had a 50-50% chance on figuring out where where the enemy Lear fleet is. Fortunately, I chose wrong because my luck is downright shit. It really is. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up because I don't think we're going to be able to take out the enemy Lear fleet. Yep, there they are. Just go ahead and let them have fun. Are those freighters? I think those are freighters, actually. Weird. Alrighty, I will see you guys in just a second. Already, we are in. And, oh wow. I think this fleet's old. Huh. Yeah, this fleet is old. Alright. Go ahead and attack this planet. Go ahead and speed the time up a little bit. I think this is the one where we don't have to deal with any enemy fleets. Shit. Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me slow this up. Alright. Uh, this is not particularly good. I'm using a old version of my Dreadnought. Mark III. Lord. So they're using the old fashioned lasers. I just hope that my additional barrage will actually get over there and fire. Oh my gosh. How old are you? Oh my gosh, I'm using detonating fusion torpedoes. Good lord. Holy crap. Oh wow. Gonna actually have a kind of an easy time with this. Now he actually brought down his lasers. I really have to manual. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I ever decided that manual torpedoes would work fine. Yes! Awesome! Alrighty, now this next part's not going to be that easy, so I will see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, we are in, and pause the game. Yeah, pause the game. Okay, who do I want to face? He's probably going to be the more bigger threat. Alright, good, let's go ahead and get turned. Slight disadvantage. But yeah, I think he's going to be the bigger threat. <coughs> Go ahead and destroy these. It's not even using them. See, this is why I... Because these... I don't really see them being used that often. Uh, whenever we're in battle. So. 
man. Alright, let's let's focus on that first real quick. These other two are not that major threat. He really uh, thinks that his command ship is able to take on my dreadnought. There we are. Awesome. And he has another one. Alright, I guess I'll just focus down these red knots. That's gonna be the case. Alright. There we go. Next target is going to be him. Him first. He's a more major threat. Uh, especially since he has those torpedoes and lasers. <laughs> yeah, and he has also those uh, electronic torpedoes that are super annoying to deal with. They always reset my guns on my on the ship that we're trying to make good. Actually, pull him back. I think that would probably be the better idea. And he has another boat. Another command ship. Yeah, I'm gonna pull my command ship back. Because he's been being constantly hit by this enemy dreadnought. Of course, it takes forever to turn. Down next, I guess. <laughs> wow, he did not last long. What are you? The regular armor section. Not that overly concerned about. See, this is why I love my garage. They are just, they just tear up these clear dreadnoughts. Him. Where'd my? Okay. He can come back. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be losing you anytime soon, so he can actually come back and assist. We'll focus on the command ship. What little time we have left. Up. Come on. Yes! We actually got him. Good. Whew. That was... Oh, I don't want to say that was fairly close, but that was interesting. Alright. What was I having you build? I was having you build a trade hive. Was I also having you build a sensor station? I was. Okay, I remember that. Uh, trade station built at Badoon. Now, where can I send you that would increase our trade? Ugh. I think right there, I think right here would be fine. We will follow this course, Majesty. Yep, that will be fine. New colony at Shambhala. Let's go ahead and get that set up and death to the leer and increasing our hiver population. Okay, good. Uh, defensive fleet arrived. Good job, guys. So proud of you. Can't believe I actually sent my defensive fleet uh, in there to attack. Oopsies! That was not a good idea. Uh, five fleet arrived. Let's go ahead and repair. And apparently I do not have a gate ship. God damn it. I forgot to bring a gate ship. What was I making here? Why do I have a princess rises? I don't know why. Alright, we need to get some gate ships. So how many can I produce? Uh, we'll 
probably. That looks good. And hopefully you guys cannot hear that siren. I don't think you guys will. Um, the microphone generally will not pick up that quite of a sound, but there is a, there is a uh, siren going on outside. Probably a fire truck. Always someone's house is burning down. Watch, it's probably mine. <laughs> I just don't know it yet. All right, so right now working on just researching everything. Sure, why not? Um, we are a powerful empire. Might as well keep up to date with the technologies, even though we have all the technology we really need. Uh, let's see. Build me a trade station. Would you be so kindly? Yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead and colonize you. The princess has Mind if it arrived. Majesty. And just want one of you guys to dump ore. We have brought a gift of all majesty. And teleport gate is established. So we can actually go colonize. I had a colonizer. Where was the colonizer? There we go. We will follow Send him course, over there. Majesty. And you have gate ships, so you can actually move out. Yes, Majesty. Command fleet shall continue, or not, where is my command fleet? Is it over here? There's my command fleet. I was like, wait, where's my command fleet? There it is. All right, new fleet is being produced at Isaacot. And let's see. Engaged. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and make sure I did repair. Good. I think I repaired this as well. Yes, I did. Good job, guys. Uh, you don't have a gate ship, and I think I'm producing one. <laughs> Am I? I'm going to have to produce two, because apparently I went to two worlds, and they don't have gate ships. Shit. All right. Where am I building these gate ships? I think it's up here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Can you guys produce gate ships? Wait, can you produce? You can produce three. I will take three and we'll go send them forth to go established gate ships. Let's see. Ten enemy ships were destroyed. Uh, can I deploy? No, I cannot. But I do need to repair. We shall repair what is broken. And... Are you kidding me? Okay, so that was... Was that... What was... What was here? Asteroid monitor. Okay, so that was the other planet. Okay, I remember. Wow. Wow. Two, one, two, three, four. Four more worlds of the Lear have just declared independence. Oh my gosh, their fleet is just crumbling underneath from underneath them. Good lord. This is awesome. It's actually making my day. Uh I can't can I? There's thirty seven. Damn it. Alright. Needed more freighters. Okay, uh, you are on the attack, even though your own empire is crumbling. What is coming? No idea. Just know that there are three ships incoming. I guess we'll send you guys. Mark this Just go over. Don't actually go to intercept. And I think that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and turn. Let's see how it progresses. And we'll go from there. Hopefully, it will be over fairly quickly. I'm, I'm. It, it saddens me that um, the series is the series is getting very close to coming to the end. Um, it just depends on, I guess, my ultimatum. Ultimatum. Are you shitting me? I just a stone. Fuck you, berserkers. Ugh. All right. Uh, let's see. We will do that one. I still feel like we need to do this, but honestly, I think the AI can handle it. Let's see. AI can handle this. And I'm pretty certain the AI can handle this. I'm glad I sent that fleet over. Alright. Yeah. 
All right, let's go ahead and jump into battle. And I will see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, we are in. And I think I'm gonna look for the enemy Lear fleet first. Right, let's go ahead and speed this up because we are slower than molasses when moving. Oh, I betcha I could probably figure out where. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we'll go ahead and destroy this colony. Might as well. So they're not raining uh, planetary missiles at us. Continue. Oh gosh. Why, why am I sending these older fleets out? Are they just not listed? I guess they're not. Focus on him. Kill this dude. There we go. Hopefully your cruiser destroyed. And that should be another Lear world destroyed as well. Really? It's poor freighters. I almost feel bad for them. Because they are essentially just defenseless against us. Uh, where, where is their fleet? Hmm. Alright, we'll get moving, I guess. I don't know where they're at then. I don't see them. Alright, that, I guess, is going to be it. Alright. Yay. Can you guys stop talking? <laughs> For once. I know, I'm very sad about that. Okay. Well, this is actually going to be it for this episode. I know it might be a little bit shorter uh, than my normal 30 minutes, but um, I have to quickly go record some more stuff, and I'm running out of time, so please do forgive me. So, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.